This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. And now we are going to do one important thing. So see, we are currently logged in. That's why I am able to see this. But if I log in again, then it's going to redirect me to the home page. I don't want to redirect to home page. I want directly redirect it to the to do page so that I can directly land on this page. How you can do that? We need to firstly see where this login details are there. That means where login happens. So if you're following me from the first video, you can see we have the we have installed the Laravel UI package. Because of Laravel UI package, we have some controllers inside our app HTTP controller and then we have an auth directory. Inside that, we have a login controller. And this login controller is actually responsible for the login to happen. And here it is given that redirect to. And this is saying that when we complete the login, then where we need to redirect after login. So it's currently given the home page which is given via the service provider and don't think about what is service provider we will see this later for now I can just change it to to do it's very very easy so now if I log out like this try to log in secret one two three and cool we are redirected back directly to the to do's same thing can also be happen on the register part so now we have some problem it says 419 for logout maybe once again if i try and yeah it's done so what happened i register once more so if i register like this and so let's see where we are going to redirect hmm so it's redirecting me to home page so similar to login controller we also has this register controller so in this register controller we also see we have a redirect to which is same as home let's change it to to do it's super super easy once again log out register once more so another name with another email id and this one two three and this should be one register and yes you can see i'm now redirected to to do's and here you can see we don't have any to do so i can uh, by default say that no to do uh, create one it's this type of thing so i need to go to index.blade.php and here uh, we are doing some for each loop so here we have a for each so we can first check that if we don't have to do's then we need to show the text so it will be like if to do's count and count is a method given by laravel so count is greater than zero then show this for each part else and let's end if for now else i can simply show no task no task available create one good now let's refresh no task available create one looking very very good but you know uh, these are good thing to have if else but because laravel is a great thing laravel provide many ways to do a simple task so that you can have a various option whichever you like you can deal with that so go to blade templates and here somewhere we have here i can search for loops so control statements are there and loops are here and we have used this for each loop but just below that you can see we also have something else which is for else so we can use this for else and it's similar to for each but included with the if else so let's use this for else instead of for each so we have this so let's uh, 
undo these things and now I can say simply instead of for each I will say for else and after that if it is empty then I can show a p tag where it says no task available create one like this so let's once more try this and <laughs> we have problem it says okay so we are using for and for each it's and for else now it will work yes it is working absolutely fine as it was before so this was the very very cool thing given by Laravel blade templates and that is very nice so one thing more we can do we can have this back button here we can put a icon here to go back so we can do this also so on the create part create.blade.php we should have a simple div here like this maybe we can steal the div from here because we have it like this and then we can replace this h1 with this h1 and then we should see we have a arrow back arrow so back arrow is it any kind of font or some icon let's search for it while this is searching let's see we need this route on this to do dot index this should be to do dot index good so maybe we can have a gray color so gray 400 and i should remove this back button and let's search for arrow so we should see the arrow and let's search for the free <laughs> icons so click on this free we have arrow left so we should use the arrow left not back arrow arrow left now let's see refresh and we have this arrow left and that's good and one thing more we need to remove the border it's not looking good oops not this one i'm talking about that this one hmm yeah this is good so go back yeah that's cool <laughs> go back yay so this is nice and same thing for edit so edit is also there and we can again grab all these things from here remove this back button from here and paste it change the h1 and everything is fine so we should see if we create another task another task create one successfully created i think after this we can redirect to the all to do's so this means now i need to open the to do controller and in this to do controller when we create that means when we store instead of going back i can go to a route of to do dot index let's once more try so once more try and yeah it is good now let's see on the edit edit is also there one thing we need to do we need to remove the border of h1 from this yay looking absolutely nice so here we have back button here we have back button cool in the next episode what we are going to do every task should have the description we just don't want the title only we also want the description one more thing later we are going to do is we want the steps so maybe some task require two or three steps so we need to add two things one is the description and second is the steps so let's add the description in the next episode and now we need to add the description to our to-do list so it's very easy actually because we know how to edit the migration and migrations are available inside app not in app <laughs> inside database inside migration we have all the migration we need to edit this to do's migration so we have this title we also need the description and description should be a text field a very very large text so as i'm saying a text field laravel has a text field so instead of description 
you can also write details so i like the description although it is a big word i don't like big words but yeah that's okay <laughs> no problem so we have this and remember because we need this to be there always and we are using the mass assignment so we need to add it inside the fillable and remember one thing i always try to tell you different things so that you can have a different concept in your mind you can also do guarded in that way you don't ever have to write any field inside that but then make sure you provide a correct request form data when you are submitting the form using the mass exception otherwise this thing will give you error so that's why i don't like the guarded cool so we have done that and we always need to refresh the database because it's in a development uh, stage we have not completed the application we can simply say php artisan migrate fresh it will fresh everything that means it will clean up all the database and then create new tables that's cool okay so that's done and next thing is if we go and try to create any uh, task so firstly we need to register because we have just flushed out everything so secret one two three secret one two three and sarthak at gmail.com is not my uh, email id so never try to email me on that it just default so let's create a task so task our task <laughs> so let's try to create and now it has a problem it says description doesn't have the value this means first thing we need to have a, a text field here so that i can write the description and then i can submit it so what we need to do we need to open the uh, index dot not index the create dot blade dot php for to do's so here we have the simple form and in this form what i can do i can create another uh, text field so i can simply say here text area and this is the text area with the name of description and uh, is it yeah so we can give the padding of two and rounded and border let's see how it's going to look yeah all messed up because we need to add div here everywhere so that everything is having its own area now what we can do else we can have some padding for each one so this div could have a padding y of one maybe and let's copy paste it like this and if we try to refresh yeah looking good and everything is centered that's because of somewhere we have used the centered mm -hmm. it's not there so no problem we can add it like uh, uh, text left is it going to work text left yeah it is working but this is not good so stick with this we will uh, change the layout later so here's the title here's the description so what if i can have the placeholder so placeholder is title and for placeholder of text area is description description now yeah this is nice so now title is laravel 7 course and description is uh, tutorials about level 7 with uh, all details okay, details now let's now create it so just click create and now it is created how how this happened because we have not changed the anything we have just changed the migration and added the mice assignment and that's the power of laravel because we are sending this uh, description detail from this form so this form is submit to the to do dot store where is to do dot store so to do dot store we can see in, is inside the resources so we can just say php artisan route list and search for to do slash store and to do store to do dot store let's search 
yeah we have the to do dot store this will submit to to do controller at store method so open to do controller at store method in this store method we are saying whatever data you get from the request that means from the form create it now because we are using the mass assignment on this to do model we have described that okay you need to fill description detail only that along with all these three details also so you only fill all four details if data is available so that's why we are saying okay request all so if i do die dump here request of all and try to create another to do with another to do with some details and click on create you can see we are sending the description data from the form so this is how you can add the description field on your to do's so let's undo this and that's very nice we have added the description but we cannot see the description here so what we need we need a view button so that whenever user click on this uh, to do it will go to another page where we will show the detail title and later we will show the steps so for that we need to wait for the next episode because then we will do that uh, clicking and showing the description also we need to edit the description also so if i click on edit we can just edit the title for now but in the next episode we will see how we can edit the description it's very easy because everything is done we just need a form we need a simple form similar to the create one and then everything is already set up we don't have to do anything apart from adding the form and we are now going to edit the description also plus we will add the link so that i can see the description on every to do cool so click here we don't have any form so we can steal the form from create so we have this form i think i can steal all these data because we have changed it open edit dot blade because we know it is inside resources views it is inside resources views to do's and then edit dot blade dot php so we can simply change these things so i think i need to change it like this so this is the one and with a placeholder of title then we have a description then we have a submit button like this so how about this refresh this page yeah we have this but we want to have the uh, current description of the to-do list we are editing cool so this means now inside this bracket i can say to do arrow description cool so refresh and now we have the description here also nice so what if i click on update let's see what's going to happen so i'm going to update the detail because i know title can be updated and detail with updated so let's try this click on update and yes it is updated but how i ensure that it is updated that's why i want to have a view button of this level so i can just click on this or i can have a view button so it will be good if you have a click button so first thing let's do that so we need to open the index.blade.php for to do's and for every to do we have the title here first first we can convert it into a anchor tag then we can have a class of cursor pointer and let's try this so yeah you can see we can have a cursor of pointer that's good so now if i click here i should go to the view or show part of to do so here comes the good thing so first we need to say href and we know we need to provide the route route of show and because we are showing an individual to do that means we need to give the id so that i can identify on the controller which list or which to do item i need to show so that's why i can give id here 
cool and do you think we have this route because we have used the resource on our web.php we have a route of resource controller or resource route that's why we also have to do dot show it comes with the laravel so see laravel is providing everything you need so to do dot show is there which is inside the to do controller at show so to do controller and let's search for show so we don't have the show because this is our uh, to do controller not the to do controller of like uh, to do's controller we have created as a resource controller so if i say to do's controller i think i to do resource controller we have created just for checking that and in, on that we have the show method so it's not a problem we can create the show method after any function so we can have the show method and we know we want the route model binding so let's diadem the to do or simply return it to do like this so what we have done we have an anchor tag so that we can have a cursor pointer and on that anchor tag we are having a href of route of to do show because this to do show need a to do id like this you can see this to do id is required it's a get method so anchor tag is having no problem and when we do that we will go on the to do controller at show method and we are using the route model binding to get the to do which we are trying to see so refresh and now if i click you can see we have this simple detail of that particular to do list cool we need a blade file to show properly all these things that means we need to create a show dot blade dot php very nice and similar to other things i can just copy and paste it uh, to do layout is extended content and here at the title we can give the title of the to do so to do title comes here and then we have a back button that's good and we can provide the description so i can have a simple description no need for alert button so description comes like uh, just for now we can see how it's going to work so we need to return a view so return a view called to do's dot show and let's see it is going to work or not so if i do this now it says to do is not available because we have not passed the to do so using a compact method we can have the to do or you can use this with method so with to do to do like this but i like the with method because it is more descriptive more compact and as its name is com compact i like the compact method <laughs> okay so refresh and now we have a level 7 course so this is the title of the uh, to do list we need the description here so first i will create a div inside one more div and inside that i will use the p tag to have to do description so refresh yeah we have this uh, tutorial about level 7 and this is how you can show details so let's create another one so another to do description another details create it is created and click on another to do yeah we have another to do another detail which is looking good very nice so this is the way you can have the description with the edit description like this you can edit description updated and then you can see that details of the to-do list now it's time to add the steps involved in any to-do list so whenever we create the to-do we just want to add the title and description but later after creating the to-do user can see this and while he's uh, watching this details he can add any steps involved in that particular 
to do list so that's very nice and then we will see how we can add the steps for every to do so, and now it's time to add the steps for each to do list so here we have a plus icon where i can click and edit it but before that let me show you this i have changed the icon to pen and times instead of edit and trash it looks better just for that <laughs> nothing else okay so here we need a form or actually we need a text box just like this so that i can add a step okay so simple thing very easy let's do it so we need to go here on the vs code and we need to search for create.blade.php inside that we should see first thing we can format it format document like this it's not formatted no problem <laughs> so here you can see we have uh, this div and on this div we can do a margin of 2 and then i can say h2 tag and this h2 tag will say add steps if required like this and give it a class of text large so let's see how it's going to look yeah this is cool and i don't want text area this should be a input button uh, input field actually so like this and this will be name as a step okay so step uh, describe step so describe a step cool so how it's going to look now refresh yeah describe step so describe like this that's easy but you know we don't always have a single step we are saying steps that means we should have more than one step so just like this icon we have here or plus icon we should have one plus icon here just after add steps if required and then we will add more of this input fields cool so this means after this we can grab these concept and place it here and indent it for now this is h2 tag and i can say add steps for task and then i can instead of having an anchor tag for just for redirecting i just have a single span which is like plus icon so plus and just a plus with let's see how it's going to look first so steps for task oops it's very large so i can say it is text lg large and now it says good why is there bottom no 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 we don't need anything like this okay so this is nice but i think we don't need any margin okay so this is good and maybe between justify center we can use okay and this icon should be having a padding of x of 2 and y of 2 also so how about this and y of 1 good and cursor pointer obviously cursor pointer p o pointer and yeah that's good so when we hit on this uh, the plus icon we should have a different different input field but now we have a problem this is a full-fledged javascript thing we cannot do this with the help of laravel yes we can actually do but that will be too hard instead we can simply apply javascript thing so what you need uh, you need a core javascript no so what you need you need a vue.js you need a react or angular no you need a jquery never <laughs> i'm going to introduce you with laravel live wire so let's see live wire so live wire is a very very cool package given for laravel and with the use of this without writing any javascript with the help of laravel you can create the dynamic things it sounds very strange 
it's very very easy and the working is little complex but it's not a problem because we just want the functionality not the details of how it's going to work okay so how we can include it so we need to go to the documentation and remember the website is laravel hyphen livewire.com with the docs and we have this doc and we should have this uh, with the help of this composer command so let's copy this command and go here and install this laravel live wire so while laravel live wire is installing let's see the next step so just after including it we don't have to do anything we can simply use laravel live wire here but remember we need to include the javascript so laravel live wire styles and laravel live wire script so a script will go on it says you need to add it on every page on every page see this every page so instead of including it on every page i can use it on the layout of our to do so here we have the layout and at the bottom it says include this laravel live wire script and at the top you need to include inside the head you need to include this laravel live wire style yeah that's good so now the package is installed let's see what next we need to do we need to create a component uh, for the counter so firstly we will see how this uh, uh, laravel live wire works and then we include that thing on our creating steps for to do so in the next episode we will actually create the new live wire counter and see how it's going to work understand the basic concept of laravel live wire and then we will move forward with this to do steps and now we will move in the laravel live wire and create a component of live wire so it's very easy we need to use this uh, artisan command and we already installed this package and we have added this into our layout file so here we have the layout file and we have added laravel live wire style and laravel live wire uh, script cool so it's very easy let's create a php artisan make laravel live wire counter and before that let me show you that if we say php artisan and by the way this pa is the alias i have created for php artisan and that's it for now and then you can see we have a lots of laravel live wire related commands so here we have live wire live wire copy delete discover make move stop cool so let's follow this command php artisan make live wire counter hit enter and wow this is cool <laughs> okay so what it has created so it has created a class called live wire inside app http live wire let's check out so let's close first everything app http live wire counter we have named the component as a counter so it has created the counter which extend the component and then it just have a one method called render which is actually returning the laravel live wire and if you remember we have this component which is basic laravel component it is it is exactly same so it extend the component and it has a render method which return a view so same on a laravel live wire it extend the component but not the illuminate component it just co extend the laravel live wire component and have a render method very nice so we have done this let's open terminal and next it created the view obviously so we have view inside resources views live wire and counter.blade.php simple html nothing unique here cool next congratulations you have created uh, would you like to uh, star uh, for now no but i will give a star later okay so this is done and next what we need to do we have this render method as we know we have this div on the blade file that's exactly we know and then whatever we do on our blade file will reflect on our component so we have this and let's add hello world and we need to use this component because this is just a component so we can simply use it so including the component how we can include i will say at live wire and the name of the component like this so i will open create.blade.php because here i need to have that uh, steps part for our uh, to-do list and here we have so now 
I will create at the rate live wire counter and let's see here on our to do list just after here we have hello world that means it is working absolutely fine just like any other laravel component view in browser we have done that and now add the functionality so how we can add the functionality so in this component we have created we can create a variable and then we create functions and that's it so let's add these three things so these three comes here and we have this counter and then add it so very very easy steps next now when we have this uh, button we can use wire click increment plus and wire click decrement and make sure these two name will exactly same as you given the name in the function inside laravel so i will copy these two from here and paste it inside this component counter component so how this is going to look refresh this page you see we have plus icon then we have a number then we have a negative sign so this is showing zero because we have a count variable with initial of zero what if i make it 10 refresh this page you can see it is 10 that means with some magic this variable is now available inside this counter.blade.php you have seen that we are not passing any variable from here just like before we can have a compact method and we pass like this but there is no need with the help of laravel live wire and now what we can do because it has binded the click event with this increment or decrement and these two function will trigger magically so let's see so what this plus sign will do plus sign will trigger the increment increment is here and it just increment the count value so it's 10 and if i click here it's 11 you can see it's 11 and form is submitting because this is actually inside the form that's why it's doing this so what if i move this component outside the form then it will going to work refresh and now we have at the bottom and click you can see there is no refresh there because form is not submitting and now we have cool counter without writing any javascript you have seen that we have no javascript till now every javascript is handled by this laravel live wire and the main and the very awesome thing about live wire is you can just bind the function you describe inside the laravel and then use that php function php function as a javascript function on your uh, html side and this is extremely useful thing we will use this functionality to create the step so this means when we click here we need to increment this number of uh, input fields for our steps inside the to-do list task